Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I've been working on quite a few things lately, as you guys have noticed. My 3D printed water pump is going to go hand in hand with a project that I'm working on here. I need to do some testing on some of these propellers that I've 3D printed recently on the CraftBot. I've got a few different pitches and diameters. I've got a 3 inch, I've got two 4s. This guy here is a 4 inch pitch, this is a 5, and this is a 4 inch pitch. The plan is to, of course, um, make some sort of a watercraft for me and my son to go in a pool. Because, hey, uh, why not, right? So, what I'm going to do today is test these various propellers and see which one is going to work best. Now, for testing purposes, I'm going to use my tiny little screwdriver here. We had an old 14 volt drill that we took apart, and I plan to use that for the final motor for several reasons. Well, it's got a chuck, so we can attach it to pretty much any shaft. It's nice and linear, so it's very easy to mount to something else or build a casing for. And uh, it should have plenty of torque because that 14 volt drill was much, much more powerful than this little guy is, even though he's a 20 volt. And um, I plan to safely overvolt the motor just a little bit anyway, if needed. We're going to use the trigger from the 14 volt drill to control speed on a set of handlebars. But first things first, we've got to see exactly how big this little tunnel, because this is going to be an impeller style propulsion system, much like a uh, Sea-Doo or another personal watercraft would be. Because I think it's going to be safety first. We definitely don't want to have any exposed rotating parts in the water that uh, a cousin or something might get hit with. So all propulsors must be enclosed in a shroud. Therefore, I need to see what diameter we can tolerate because smaller, of course, would be better. But bigger uh, is also better from a different standpoint. I would like to make a smallest little tube possible, but we definitely need a lot of thrust. So we're either gonna probably spin something small very fast or something bigger slower. And we may even end up going bigger than four inches in diameter. I don't know, let's go see. So now this one is a 3 inch diameter, 4 inch pitch and 2000 RPMs. This is the 4 inch diameter, 4 inch pitch prop. So that's the five pitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, how about that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you can see that's pretty much all there is to it. 3D printed PLA propellers work fabulously. Um, maybe a little bit more tweaking and I'll have an awesome propulsion system for this boat that we're going to make. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.